Yeah, what do you think? Is this, enough, it's cold. Is this enough minus 10 for you? Yeah, this is good. Okay, good. we'll go. What's the verdict? What do we think? Hey. That was <laughs> <laughs> Negative 10. Negative 10, everyone. Minus 10. Fahrenheit. <laughs> Fahrenheit. Yes. So we're still holding on to that. Too. Are you gonna go in? Break horsepower and Fahrenheit. Break horsepower, Fahrenheit, and you're gonna go in there just like you're dressed now with your short sleeve shirt on. Can't, do I have to? No, okay. you don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Also, I forgot you're from North Carolina. That's right. So yeah, you don't like it cold. We're going in. I here. like it That's cold when I'm at home sitting next to my wood burning stove. That's when it's cold. That's okay. when I love it cold. You're going in there. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. So no, we're going in let's, for sure. Let's put a coat on. Maybe a jacket would be nice. I will put a jacket on. Um, I don't think I have gloves, so you might do a little bit of in your pocket okay. thing, but we'll see. Let's go in. Let's go. Let's try it. All right. So we're going to get dressed and do a little bit of shooting in here just to see how the equipment works. Are we okay, good. To, we okay to do that? We got jackets over there, we got jackets over here. Okay. Woo! Huh? You're from here. Not as worse. What about me? Do I get a jacket? Woo! Yeah. Anybody with beard and mustache, you can't do Oh, nice. Man. Nice. That's the whole identity. That's what we're going to do. That's your whole identity. <laughs> Who are you without your yeah, beard and mustache? Nothing else. It just got to negative 10. I didn't think we'd get there that quickly today. We started around lunch. All right. This. Cutting edge and after, mycology. And after a few minutes, our hands and arms will freeze in this position. Oh my God. And then it won't matter, right? <laughs> Minus 10. <laughs> hey, don't panic on your way out. Your glasses, you're not losing your sight. Your glasses are going to fall off. Oh, yeah. Are they? Here they are. Hey. You're not then you, losing. Then you can come over here to the 100-something degree room. And we'll you're not move. losing your sight. Can we okay. just edit all this and post and say we will? <laughs> 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 All right, minus <laughs> minus ten. Okay, so chiller room. We're doing. What cold, do we call it? Cold temperature testing. That's cold cold temperature testing. Yep. Things you do for your audience. Right? Minus ten. That's right. Don't you forget it, audience. Like and share this at least for the coldness. Tony, you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. it's over here. Okay. All right. PP required. Okay. See you on the other side. Have fun. <laughs> we won't be in here for too long. Because it's, it's already cold. Minus 10 is, is still oh minus 10. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, Woo! All right, let's make this quick. <laughs> so, Doug, I don't know how the camera is doing, but, but it is minus 10 Fahrenheit in here. Right. And... You say, why do you need a room to go to this low a temperature? To prove your air-cooled heat pump can make hot water. That's one I'm reason. Assuming. That's one reason. My teeth hurt. Yeah, doesn't it hurt already? Yeah. The other reason to do it is to test how far of an extreme temperature can we handle and still produce even a lower temperature chilled liquid, right? Right, so like, right, okay. And that's what we're doing with this chiller here, is we're running it in some testing to say, essentially, how low can I take a fluid in really low ambient conditions? Right. And still run it and still operate it. So, I mean, it's, isn't it strange to think that you would use a chiller in this low a temperature? Yeah. But there are conditions where we need to do that. When you have internal loads, yeah. Correct. Sure. Absolutely. You need to you need Data to be able centers. to pull it. Right? Data centers could be one, right? Let's walk around this thing so we can get the heck out of here. So coming around here, you'll see all the equipment that we'll use to measure air flows, temperatures. Watch yourself on this hose here. Oh, I should have said that before you stepped over it. Okay, <laughs> you're good. Okay. And then it is really minus ten in here. It, it is really it minus is ten. Cold in you here. can feel it. You can feel it, it is in here. It's freaking cold in here. Yeah, yeah. You can feel it. You can feel it. And I'm being nice by saying freaking. <laughs> he is. He is being nice. <laughs> but <laughs> so. I, I, I can't even laugh because my teeth are. And, and I'm concerned. How are our camera? How's our cameraman doing? You didn't even ask that question. Is he doing okay? He's all right. He's all right. I'm great. He's I'm great. Fine, Keep going. All right. So typical setup in any of these air-cold labs, I've got a 
flexible lines to right. be able to take the water in and out and connect them. I've got all sorts of sensors, temperature sensors, airflow sensors, and then an opportunity to really measure everything. Wow, right? look at all the points. How's it performing? Yeah, look at all these points that we're measuring here, Tony. And those, those scrolls are running. Yep. They are running and making typical scroll compressor noises. So, All right. But, yeah, what do you think? Is this, enough, think is this enough minus 10 for you? Yeah, this is good. Okay, good. we'll go. What's the first? What do we think? Hey. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T. Mr. T. We're, we're going to move. We're not dating ourselves at all. We're going to move you up north here where it's much colder, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Come on out. Well done. Thank you. Woo. Go on, Douglas. Oh my God. I can get that door. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Yeah, that'll probably feel more like I'm not that. lying. Tony froze that in there. <laughs> that was hey, legit freezing. We're going to see how he sounds. Well. Didn't say a lot of cuss words, so that's pretty good. It's freaking. <laughs> I lived in a camper in Breckenridge, Colorado for six months. Yeah. And then we get down to minus 20, but it, it, it that felt colder than that any time I ever found it. You did it? <laughs> okay. Really? I wonder why. I don't know if I got used to it or something. Yep. So just, yeah, just for comparison, right, because we know that the relative humidity matters in terms of how we feel temperature. What's the relative humidity in there at minus 10? 41, 41%. Okay. We so, yeah. 52. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. 41. 41. Okay. Oh, it actually went up. Yep. Oh, it went up. 50, it's up to 54 now. Is that a result of us walking in and letting all that? Letting all that moisture in there, so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Wow. Tomorrow we're going to the room and our, our York Speedos that they're giving us. Tony. And we're getting crazy. Wait, we're not going to the heat? You're going to heat, you know? Yeah. Is what that, what, what do you add temperature-wise there? I'm headed to 120, but I'm at 103 right now. 103. Is that enough? That's fine. Is that enough heat for you? Yeah. Okay. It's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. That's okay. right. That's what people from Arizona tell me. Let's go in the dry Let's heat. Let's go for it. So I think we're good with compressor. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! Okay. You're starting to thaw out now, Tony. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Boy, this that felt Doug's colder than minus well. ten. This feels warmer than minus than hundred. Yeah. Well, these are these are actual real temperatures. Yeah. 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 Calibrated temperatures, not not right. uh, wind chill corrected or those That's things. So. Did I miss it? Did y'all say it already? Yeah. One oh three. One hundred and three. One oh three. Can we walk down here? Yeah. Let's go down here. Same setup, Tony. So this is right. this is temperature. This humidity. This is picking up temperature. We're also measuring airflow through the tubes. So. Okay. And airflow, meaning what, what's moving through, what's moving across, oh, but it's air temperature. Airflow monitor as well. Airflow monitor, so yeah. So the air is coming from this from tunnel here. here. Yep, yep. And this is acting like a diffuser. This is you a don't get any hot spots. Right, so we like can that. even it all out. Even right? the, even the yep. flow out. Yep. It's going to the chiller condenser. Correct. And you're saying, okay, at 103, we can produce this. Here's what the power uses. Exactly. Is. So all, all the data. These labs let us look at the extremes. Right. right? And we're going to get this up to 120. I'm told it'll be 130. 130? Okay. So we'll come back for 130. Okay. But 103 feels good, especially coming out of that cold room. But again, you can see the similar setup here. Yeah. So this is exhaust leaving the right. room. So we're bringing that air in, we're exhausting it out, and then we just keep 
keep heating it to the temperature we want to dial in to put this chiller under those ambient conditions that we're trying to simulate. Now how long would this be in here? This could be here and we'll typically run it through a map. So as you know, we're trending yeah. upwards with this, but we may run just a full map sweeping across, stopping for as little as 10, 15 minutes at right. each stop. We could say prolonged testing at a higher temperature, let's say above 120, four days, just to see, sure. flesh out. Because you might uncover some right. sensor well, failure. It, yeah, it, did, it right. didn't show up in the first, that first day, but right. that second day, third day, all of a sudden it came. For example, fans are a great example something you would test yeah right to say Condenser what's fan. the right. what's how well does that dissipate its own heat from the motor that's spinning that fan now it's amazing to me I, I don't see a lot of the fans running no in this in this situation we don't have a lot of them running Which but it could be a, could be a factor of how we're loading this oh i see how we're loading this chill right because right? we'll again part of the energy conversation conservation is only turn on the fans you need. Right, you might only be running one compressor. Right. And in some in, in cases, phase. only run those fans as much, as fast right. as you need to, right. depending on how much air I need to dissipate. So, Got it. This part looks a little dangerous to walk through, so we'll come, yeah, back, yeah, yeah. We'll come back the way we came. How does this get in here? Oh, the door up front? Yes, there is a door. We don't have to live here. It was not built for guys like me. No, just kidding. And you have all the different power. All the different power available, power available here. here on this tree to be able to allow us to hook up anything we can use here in North America and even products we might run and test that are gonna go into other regions that use different power. Right, so this so, sets 500, does that mean it's 500 tons? It so, can be capable of 500 yeah. tons, correct, so, yep. Scroll machine? This machine is actually an air-cooled mag-bearing compressor. Wow! So this would be a data center exclusive data center application. So that's interesting because yep. my thought process is mag-bearing compressors can't handle high lift. Right. But here you're proving it, it's just fine. Right. And you're going to get it up to 130. But that's why I say it's data center specific because sure. I'm not going to chill that water to 42 degrees. That's right. I'm only taking that water maybe into the 70s and 80s. That, that makes sense. Right? So it's not a high so lift. So it's not really high lift. Got it. But it's really high efficiency in that right, lift range. Right. So. so for that type of application, the back bearing chiller, back bearing compressor, performs well and is very efficient. And Those you get the side benefit of the sound. Very quiet. Right? What you hear now, you'll hear that hum of and the compressor, right, right. but most of the sound you're hearing right now, outside of the fans that are moving the air through the space, is really coming from condenser fans. Sure. And it's, you think about how many chillers you've walked up to and you can almost not hear the condenser fans at all because oh, yeah. the compressors Especially were dominant. The screw machine. This is the yeah. reverse. The compressor becomes less dominant in favor of the fan. There's a compressor right there. Yep, can there you get a you shot of that, Doug? It. Yeah, Doug, you can catch. Yeah, come on over. You can get this magnetic bearing compressor here. Yep. And you'll can and you'll see that in many ways that looks very similar to what we've seen sure. on the YMC squared. The YZ, the, uh, right, are water-to-water -water mag bearings. So the, And we're basically taking that same technology and adapting it to an air-cooled product. So you're going from 105 entering water to, to 90. 90 degrees, right? So they're probably beginning staging that down, I'm assuming. Right. Um, and actually, nice. in this case, we're running it at a set point of 90. Okay, so, so that's where you're testing it Again, at. the holy grail in a data center is how can I do more with less. Right, right. More or less everybody. You don't want to cool it more than you need to. Don't want to cool it more than you need to. Because it's a ton of tooling. And we continue to develop technology that allows servers and racks to be able to operate at higher temperatures. Yeah. 
Look at this so. saturation temperature, 90 degrees. Yep. And where are we in terms of capacity right now? Don't see that on here. I don't want to touch too many of the, no, I hear you. touch too many of the buttons, but so. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. That's great. I'm glad, we, I'm glad you pointed that out. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. There you go. Woo. Oh, here's, here's some of another tour, luckily. Okay.